Hey there folks, Lane here with Windows10Update.com and today I just want to talk to you for just a moment about how you can utilize the battery saver feature a little bit more, uh, basically customize it so it's a little bit better for you and how you use your device. So you probably already know that if you click on the battery icon down here, you can turn on battery saver. You can see I'm fully charged and connected to the charger right now so I don't have the option to turn that on. Uh, you could also come in here to your notification center or your action center, excuse me, and then turn on battery saver from here as well. Uh, but once that's activated, a couple of different things are happening. Now for one, it's probably going to dim your screen a little bit. Uh, secondly, and more importantly, what Battery Saver does to save battery is it will actually turn off backgrounding for certain apps which aren't open. You may not realize it, but certain applications will always run in the background waiting for notifications to come in. So applications like the Outlook Mail application, Twitter, uh, Facebook, Facebook Messenger, those kinds of applications are constantly going to be using at least some of your power, not a very large amount, but some power in order to check for notifications so that you can be notified when a new message comes in. So there is a way that you can actually manage that though and have sort of granular control over what is happening. So if you go into system and then battery saver, you can click down here on battery saver settings. Now, first of all, what you can do is have Battery Saver turn on automatically at a certain point. Now, this is on by default, and I believe it's set to 20% by default, but you can adjust the slider here and have it turn on automatically whenever you want, or you can disable that so that it never turns on automatically without your permission. Now, this option here, you can uncheck if you want to have manual control over the level of your screen brightness. So you can uncheck that if you want to get max brightness even when you are on battery saver mode. And then you have this option here to allow push notifications from any app while in battery saver. So that means that any application that is installed that needs to look in the background for notifications like mail, Twitter, Facebook, etc., you can have this turned on so that all those apps that need to do that will be enabled. Instead of doing that, what might be better for you is to go in and click add an app and then manually select the specific apps that you need to receive notifications from all the time. And that will just make sure that those specific apps will serve up notifications even when Battery Saver is activated, uh, but then the other applications will not. So that'll save quite a bit of battery power. Now additionally, just like in most mobile operating systems, you can actually come in here and see what applications are using your battery the most. So it may be surprising what you find in here. You could come in here and maybe find out that a certain application, uh, maybe Firefox, you haven't even started that in the last 24 hours and it's still using your battery. So this could give you a good indi indication of an application that you might need to ins uh, uninstall if you are having some issues with your battery. So these are some uh, great settings to have here so that you can see uh, exactly what your battery is doing and then also give you some manual control over how Battery Saver is being used. Now additionally, before we close out here, I just want to show you that you can actually look at battery information over the last 48 hours or the last week as well. So that's it for today. I hope these tips help you out. Thanks for watching.